Hey everyone, welcome to a new Wizard101 video. In this one, it's going to be my top 5 list of things that I want to see changed or updated in Wizard for 2017. And I've been thinking about doing this video since the end of 2016. I just wanted to put together a list of things that I feel like could be changed or updated in the game that would make it better overall, make it more accessible with different quests or different items. So, we are going to be talking about that and uh, we're going to start things off in the caravan because a lot of the list kind of involves Mirage of the New World and what could be changed. And the first thing I want to talk about, number 5, because we're going to go from 5 all the way to 1, we're going to be talking about the badge system in Wizard. And I'm going to be comparing the badge system to the similar system in Pirate, because I feel like Pirate does a better job of their badges. And uh, take for instance Mirage. I'm level 116. And I think once you finish the entire world of Mirage, you only get like one or two badges. I only have two badges right now because I went ahead and collected the antiquity and then traded it in. If I didn't do that, I would have zero out of like 26 badges in Mirage right now. Now, you might look at this and be like, okay, well, Mirage has a lot more badges than other worlds. That's only, uh, not Polaris though. Polaris has a lot of side quest badges, which is good. But uh, Mirage has side quest badges, I think. But most of the badges here are from defeating just a ton of different enemies and in addition to this i would like to see badges that you get just from main quest just main questing you get badges as you go along we've seen that in the past but not as much i like in pirate when you finish like a big momentous battle or a big part in the storyline you get a badge or sometimes even two badges so i think that would be a good addition to whiz with uh, new badges and just badges for doing like the main quest line People also like the hard to get badges too, that's why I think one of the most uh, difficult badges to get and probably the most sought after badge, at least for me, would be the fishing badge to catch 4,000 fish. So I do like the difficult badges, so I think they should continue to incorporate those, but just have some easier badges to get to that you just get as you level along, just to make it seem like you're making progress. With that, they would add more badges to every world and maybe eventually they could just add to main points in the storyline not like the end because usually at the end of a world you get a badge but maybe like throughout it you could get some from main quest as well so for number four on the list i think this one would be a great addition to the game just because of inventory management my inventory management on my life character is absolutely horrible so this one would definitely help i think having a separate bag for your housing items would make a world of difference in inventory management in the game so just in housing items right now i have seven rows of just plants and different kind of furniture items that i'm probably not going to be using but they just take up bag space i have 50 items in my bag right now that are just plants and furniture items if i didn't have those then i would be below 100 bag space and that would have plenty of room for actual items that I probably want to have in my person at all times, which is different sets of gear, different pets, different mounts. I really like having mounts, so I just like having a variety of mounts. Mounts, in general for me, take up like four pages, just because I like to have a bunch of different variety of mounts. Then you have your decks, and the housing items just doesn't seem like a necessary addition to have in your backpack, like to take up your main bag space. They've increased this over the time, but it hasn't made like a huge difference because you're just going to keep hitting the max and you have to like constantly sell and if you're at max gold then that could becomes a problem so i'm proposing having a separate bag for that or have a bank that only takes furniture items and you can have an option for furniture items to automatically go to the bank or something like that or maybe automatically sell them but maybe they would automatically sell the oldest one in the bank if it hits like a certain cap but just having like a separate furniture bag, furniture bank, something like that would be nice because I don't personally need the furniture items on me at all times and you get it from battles and they just kind of take up space. Number three on the list is going to be Mirage crafted gear because we haven't seen any good crafting gear since Chrysalis and that's a 20 level difference. That's kind of a long time. And what I just really liked about the Chrysalis crafted gear was how situational it was. If you were to just look at this, I've made plenty of these rings just because in certain situations against different bosses, they're really nice to have because you can get a lot of resist for a certain school. Um, sometimes you can get like a bunch of block if you want that. Or, I mean, I know a ton of people have crafted every single one of these rings just because having it for different bosses or different 
you know, situations is really nice. Signet of the Sand Devil, this thing's been a staple. The other one that's been really good is the uh, the fire one. And then um, I've crafted a bunch of these just to have. But, I mean, it's nice. I'm, I'm sure people have used the, the balance resist one too. So, just like having that option of crafted gear. And not even the rings. The rings are a good uh, example. But there's also other pieces of gear. If we go over to the other vendor, um, they give the hats. And... Hood of the Desert Rains. I actually crafted this one for my storm all my life, back when my storm didn't have crafting. And 194 crit for this. It's just the crit hat that you use. Gives a lot of resist too for the elemental schools. And it's just nice overall to have. I mean, there's other hats for... I mean, there's a hat for basically every school that will give a decent amount of crit. And I did craft this one for my life at one point, just to have that for damage and crit. So... I want to see something like that in Mirage. I want to see some type of like critical or it doesn't really need to be critical. It can be like resist, like a bunch of resist to like three schools, like the elemental schools or the spirit schools, something like that. In addition to having like crit or block, just like really specific, like situation specific gear that you wouldn't use like overall. Like it wouldn't be better than Dark Mar gear, but it would be better in like for certain schools or like in a cert like for a certain boss that you want resist for. That's kind of what the Chrysalis one provided. I'm not sure if they like don't want to do that yet, but it'd be nice to see Mirage crafted gear. For number two, I need to switch over to my Storm for this one because this has been an issue for him for a really long time. And that is Stitchable Mounts. Now, if they ever added this into the game, I don't think they would call it Stitchable Mounts or Stitching Mounts because that's kind of weird. You're stitching a live, well, the Gulter's not live, but a basically living creature into another one. That's kind of weird, so they would have to change it, maybe mount kind of transmog, mount transmogrification, something like that. But basically, you're transforming one mount into another one to have the stats of it. Like, you're basically just gaining the stats of another mount. And my Storm's had this problem because for the longest time, I've been forced to use the Battle Nautilus. Whenever you see my Storm, you see this mount, and... If you were to look at it and you didn't know that it gave 2% damage, you'd be like, oh, he must just love that mount. Uh, I really don't love this mount. Like, <laughs> would I want to ride a whale? I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's, it's a narwhal. It's more than just a whale. But would I want to ride this around all the time as a storm? Not really. I mean, I'd rather pick a different mount. I'd rather pick other mounts that, you know, kind of maybe fit more with my... I don't know, the ice sculpture looks nice. It doesn't really fit with my uh, stitch, but I've used the Lithlum wings before. I've used... The Night Wyvern, like, I can't use the Night Wyvern because I need the 2% damage. It just helps overall. I even have the Road Warriors Chopper, but I just don't use it that much because whenever you see me doing a battle video, I need to be on the Narwhal to get the 2% damage. So, now we have an upgrade, which is nice. I don't have to ride the Narwhal anymore. I can have the Storm Vulture, but what if I didn't want to ride the Storm Vulture at all times? Well, this would be the Mount transmog option to be able to put different stats onto a mount of your choice and they would have to make it known if you like look at someone's stats that they're using a mount that's been stitched or transmogged and you could see that if you were just a mouse over someone and you would look at their mount and it would say like stitch to this or you know transform to this which would be really nice so the thing about that though is you can change the mount stats like the three percent damage or for whatever school or something like that but you can't change the speed because then they would be able to change the speed of like the road warriors to a like the gulcher or something like that they'd be like a speedy gulcher i don't think you should be able to change that but then people could make like a really cool mount that's the road warriors so it's faster and then like three percent damage i don't know that'd be really cool but that's an option here we go staying on my storm for this one because this applies to Almost all of my, well, it definitely applies to all my basically max level characters and some of my other characters as well. But treasure cards is my number one thing that I want to see changed in 2017. And the reason for that is constantly, whenever I look at my treasure cards, I'm at least at 900 and like 50. And they updated it to give us more space to try to help with that. But it doesn't matter. You're still going to be at that max. Uh, treasure card space and for me you know and I'm sure for other people you can sell them and 
Sometimes I don't even know how I have 999 because I'm like, wait, where do all these treasure cards come from? And yeah, you can sell them, but then you run into a different situation with the, the, the max gold being 475. And you got that problem too, so you can't sell. The only way I can possibly get rid of treasure cards right now is to, well, there's actually two ways. I could sell something, or not sell something, buy something and make some space with gold or and then sell the treasure cards or i have to sit here and discard every single one one at a time if i want to remove it so if you have like a stack of 18 or so that you want to delete you have to do it individually every single time and if you want to make it space for 100 you have to do that 100 times so for treasure cards i think they just need to rethink the system of one deleting them also being able to store treasure cards somewhere would be really nice. Uh, making a space in the bank for it, or also you could have a shared bank space for it because people need to transfer treasure cards between their own characters and the only way to do that right now is to transfer it to another person, like a middleman, and then transfer it to your other character. So I don't know if there's ever been issues with that before, like someone stealing it. Well, you should probably get a better friend that you can trust if you're going to do that. but. I don't know, that's the only way to transfer treasure cards to your other characters. So having a bank space for it, a shared bank, or just making it easier to delete the treasure cards that you don't need would help a lot because I'm constantly at max treasure cards. Max gold is another story. I could, you know, definitely do something about having max gold, but max treasure cards is just really difficult because then you have to go in and delete it. And there's some treasure cards that I just don't want to delete, that I just want to keep. And I have to keep them on me in my 999 which seems like a lot but it does add up really fast and i think i have if i could just show like some of them where's my uh actually i don't think i have it on this character but on my life i definitely have them i have some elucidate cards and i'm not going to use those elucidate i just want to have them you know but they take up space in my bag anyway plus there's just some like that i don't want to delete you know like fiery giant is pretty unique spell um, have face Hephaestus definitely want to keep that fire gut you know, brimstone I might use that later to craft the spell I want them to look at re imagining the treasure card system make it easier for people that have a lot of treasure cards across all characters because my storm and life maybe even my fire now all have a thousand treasure cards which is a lot and you would never use a thousand treasure cards so you have to get rid of them somehow but that's my top five list of things that I want to see changed for Wizard in 2017. I think the treasure card one is one that definitely could happen. Out of all of them, actually, the top two are definitely ones that I think could happen. Treasure cards could be changed. I really hope that they are changed in 2017. And then mount transmogrification. Man, it's such a long run. I hope they, don't, I hope they can figure out something to call it rather than that. But like transferring your mount stats to another mount, that's definitely a possibility. And then the crafted gear and the other ones, we'll see. That's one that I would like to see change, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to do that just yet. But top two, I hope those ones uh, can make their way into the game this year. But hope you guys enjoyed this uh, top five. Let me know if you want to see more. Any ideas would be appreciated for that. Uh, let me know also in your comment what you think of the list. If you think there's anything else that you would like to see changed more than the current things. I know some people are going to say like PvP, but... I wasn't going to mention that really in my top five list because it's not something that affects me directly and um, I'm sure there's other people that would be more informed to talk about that. But do I think they should uh, change the PvP system a little bit, add more variety to it? Yes, I do, but I just didn't think of like putting that in this list. So I'm sure there's other things, let me know, but uh, subscribe for more wizard videos in the future. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.